Hi, I'm Lilio and I'm all. How are you doing today? You are looking at the Baco sample you gave me yesterday. Uh, I have placed it on a medicine bottle. Um, kind of simulate the idea of placing the Baco on your sample bottle. And I have two scanners here. Uh, this first one here is a Code Corp CR1000 fixed mount reader. It is in uh, continuous mode. And the second scanner here is the Honeywell 4620 wireless scanner. Um, in your application, I don't think you would need a wireless scanner, uh, but that's all I got here uh, for me to do, to make this film. Unfortunately, I don't have a Honeywell Xenon 1900 wired scanner with me, uh, so I'm just using this as an example. The Xenon 1900 is actually a newer model than the 4600 series. Uh, so performance wise, uh, 1900 should outperform the 4600 series. So here's the medicine bottle. And I'm trying to place in front of it. Not as you can hear that it's populating uh, the data directly into my laptop this is a uh, it's populating onto the notepad uh, and you know it is definitely scanning uh, really fast so to prevent operator scanning the same code twice what we will do is in the actual application uh, we will set the Baco scanner to have a timeout uh, at every one second uh, so uh, we can prevent that kind of the double scanning from happening. And here is the wireless 4620 wireless scanner from Honeywell. And as you can see, it's also an imager based uh, Baco scanner. And here's the bottle. As you can see, I don't know if you can see, there's a green line. It's the targeting pattern. Uh, the Honeywell 1900 have something like that instead of it's green it will be red and this one it's not in continuous mode so it's not picking out right after every single decode it's it, it is actually uh, what do we call a presentation mode so there's actually timeout built into that so once we set a timeout on the fixed mount scanner, uh, the operation will look like this. And here, let me see if I can show you the data. And again, it's uh, populating at a fairly fast manner. Uh, I do want to apologize. I don't have my tripod today, so I am trying to do this with, you know, scanning the bottle and filming it at the same time. Well, I hope this gives you a good idea of uh, how this Baco scanner will perform when your operator trying to scan all the sample bottles that you have. Okay, thank you and have a good day.